So I moved to Philadelphia last year and honestly, I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed by how things are pretty well managed, especially actually in Philadelphia proper. For instance, SEPTA is a fairly well managed public transit compared to anything in central Illinois. And also recently there was a moment where the water department proved that they were pretty well managed and put together because I was working a job in Philadelphia within a zone that was fed by well, the Delaware River. Yes. Delaware River. Baxter uh, water, the Baxter water treatment plant. Yeah. Basically. And so that was relevant because I was drinking the water and there was a spill in Bucks County of a latex solution, like a whole tanker or whatever or whatever. And we heard about it way before it was in the news. It was in all sorts of stuff. They were actually pretty good about explaining that they had already enough water for the entire city in the reserves and they shut off the intakes, but then they had to take some in and they were really actually really straightforward with it. The water department was very informative, but then you have these articles like from the Philadelphia Inquirer where they say it's the way that it was handled was an abject failure. What are you talking about? Like when I, when I went into work, we got the alert and it was honestly like every little bit of information somehow compressed into a tweet and yet it all made sense. And now here's the issue. The issue is with the people because I was working with two boomers that honestly, they, they were just too fucking stupid because they thought that all of a sudden that meant that all the water in this building, which has been vacant for months, you have to understand how water processing works. They don't just always take it in and it always ends up at the tap. If a building has been vacant, that water has been sitting in those pipes for a long time. So even right now, the water in that building, because it's a vacant building that we're working in, that water now is still the same water from before because there is what, a thousand gallons worth of tubing in that building. Nobody's using the water except for a few flushes from the janitor every single day. And I think there might even be a water tank up on top. And so you're not going to have a transfer of much water through that building and so even now it's still the water from before but they were just like oh trust me don't drink that water it's like okay it's already been stated that we're going to have the water it's going to be okay until this afternoon but they were freaking out that somehow already was contaminated because a lot of people don't seem to understand how water treatment even works they, I'm reading tons of comments from people that just assume that they don't check the water or they assume they don't know anything. I mean, the water treatment facilities seem, uh, the de departments seem to be pretty on top of their game where they heard that a spill was happening and so they shut off the inlets and they had enough reserves and they had it up in the reservoirs and I literally see no issue and it turns out there never was any issue. They never let any contaminated water through. So, and that day in Philadelphia, I went to CVS, pallets full of water. Nobody was buying any. It was way after the alert went out. And it's like, I mean, later on, apparently people bought some, which is fine, but you didn't need to. And yet people just freaked out. The two boomers that I was working with they decided to pull rank like even though they're only like 20 years older than me they even you know they even had to say now listen Renella, we're older than you we're your elders you're not my elders you're boomers my elders were the generation before you okay let's just get that like i hate how it became like this thing where they just wanted it to be a like a, a form of like a battle of their reputation to where i had to go out and get water because they didn't want to drink the, the stuff from, from the tap. And it's these, it's these fucking idiots that they don't realize how little they know about the systems around them. 
And then whenever you try to explain to them how things are differently, they're like, you can't trust what they say. They're the government or whatever. Even It's the water department. Yes, technically they run by the government. It's the water department. You can't trust the water department? What are you talking about? And Well, if you can't trust them, I guess yeah. you're just never drinking the water. Who the fuck? I mean, this is literally an example of a, a government agency that has done everything like perfectly fine. You know, I'm, I'm putting a, a, key, a, a key point to, to remember and that some people weren't aware of, the chemical spill didn't happen at the water department. No, it didn't happen. It was miles upstream. It was, it was at uh, a Trinzio facility, which yeah. incidentally they've had some, uh, I think they used to be owned by Dow Chemicals, mm -hmm. and they've had some incidents before, more localized. But imagine some other facility has mm -hmm. a spill. You, the water department, learn about it about as much as they tell you. And we will never be on the receiving end of what they were told and when they were told it. Mm -hmm. So they probably have to exercise their best judgment based on what they're told. They're like, okay, they may not have even known right away how much was spilled. Mm -hmm. So they probably have to treat like, okay, there was a ton of stuff. Like, I mean, it yeah. was uh, apparently 8,000 tons. Um, and they had like several days worth of water supply for an entire city, which is kind of amazing. Right. So everything... It turned out like the, 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 the water the city had had already been treated. Mm -hmm. And with everyone panic buying, incidentally, they probably weren't using as much of the water. So really, there was even more in the reserves. Mm -hmm. um, but we make, all, we make a lot of jokes about the water in Philadelphia, Schuylkill Punch and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But that, a lot of people don't realize they don't get their water from the Schuylkill. Yep. Now we do where we live. Yeah, we do because we're on the west of it. Right. But a good chunk of the city actually gets it from the Delaware. Mm -hmm. And, um, but the thing is, we do have a good water department in the Philadelphia area. We do. Mm -hmm. For all the jokes, they take it very seriously. People, it, it, it's an, it annoys me because people, they don't, I've never been in a position where you've had a really good system and people didn't seem to understand that. They're complaining about the system when the system worked great. Well, it's like IT, right? Yeah. It's like when things are example. working perfectly fine, IT does nothing. But when stuff starts going wrong, oh, they don't do anything. But it's I think like, it's a different example, though. Cause like, I mean, know, it, it is, but I, I just kind of point I, to the first one. Yeah, I but I mean, of. it's even worse, though, because everything was handled fine. Because we were, you, were you were driving me to work, mm -hmm. and we were even talking, like, man, I kind of wish we knew more. And then that morning, 15 we, minutes yep. later, we heard on the radio... A bunch of information. So like, oh, okay, never mind. There's yeah. all the information. Well, we're pretty well filled in, more than what Reddit knows, because a lot more information was was given out. There was mm -hmm. tons of information. And then like 30 minutes later, I got the notification on my phone, which told me most most of the things that I already knew. And it was actually pretty easy to navigate because the water department had a lot of water stored up. They gave us several hours to stock up water just in case, mm -hmm. and and yet countless people just, they let the government down. They let the water department down by their lack of understanding of how water treatment works. Yeah, yeah I'm just now about some this. people are upset because they're like, well, where's the mayor? Which, you know, that's a whole other conversation, but, you know, I don't live in Philadelphia proper mm -hmm. anymore. Um you the know, mayor, honestly, the mayor's a whole other topic. I don't feel like getting into. You know, here's my here's my opinion. I don't want to. I don't. I'll ignore whatever the mayor says. I want to hear what the water department says. Exactly. And so this is fine. I heard yeah. directly from the water I, department. I don't, That's yeah. fine. I don't want to hear from the CEO of a company whenever I want to hear about how to fix the game controller. I, I mean, hear from the game controller. You experts. saw Trinzia's statement, right? All Who the, was that? The, the 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 plant that had to spill all the corporate speak and mm. all that. If you haven't. Check it out. You should see oh, their statement. Oh, you just got to love it. You know, they're trying to make it like, oh, we know we're following all the things. We're environmentally friendly, mm -hmm. blah, 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 whatever. And I mean, it's it's the kind of thing that you would expect from a company that had to spill, mm -hmm. you know. We pro care. we promise we're, we're safe. We mm -hmm. just had an oopsie. I mean, granted, we've had quite a few of them, but don't, don't look at that too much. Anymore. Here's the other issue. Especially the people that I had to work for. The only reason I agreed with them was because they were being annoying and because they pay me. <laughs> but, you know, it's kind of the thing with the boomers where it's just you got to be like, you know what? Okay, you're just so dug into this issue where you don't even want to deal with it as 
an equal. Just die with your stupid opinion because you, like, you're not going to change your mind. And it's like, look, I, I mean, obviously I have nothing against boomers per se, you know, no, my, but it's my, that, that idea. But it's like, like the, I have yeah. something against anyone that kind of arms themselves with their generation. Mm-hmm. It's like if I said to a Gen Zer, oh, well, you, you guys don't know what's up. Mm-hmm. I mean, I didn't know what was up when I was their age. I mean, I I remember when I was 20, I didn't know what the hell was going you can, on, you know? Like, you, can still, you, you can tell it really sticks in my mind because I keep thinking about it even now. It's like being told, oh, well, you have to understand that we are, we're older and we're wiser. And yet, Do you realize I'm not, I'm not 17 years old And here. what's interesting is that when I have discussions with people who are in their 80s and mm-hmm. stuff you, you know what's really special about them i never had it from them they no. and incidentally if you teach them something they're mm-hmm. happy to learn it in fact if you demonstrate some sort of competency mm-hmm. with something they, they're just like okay well tell me more you know like i grew up around people that were born between 1905 and 1937 and they were some of the most open-minded people i've ever met yeah, there's nothing to prove here. It's they a, were my yeah. elders. And then the people after them, they're the ones that are like, well, I know it and you can't explain anything to me. And this is that same kind of mindset is the issue of where people are writing articles complaining the water department for keeping everything safe, apparently. I don't... There was nothing else the water department needed There's to literally do nothing else. Apart from what, do. be clairvoyant? I mean, in in my opinion... They did everything that they could do with the information that they had. They I, did. I think in, 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 in a case like this, it was good that the, like the city of Philadelphia didn't get too involved. They were just a conduit that allowed the water department to contact the citizenry. Mm-hmm. And you got to hear from the experts directly. And you know what? That's fine. Like I don't want to hear from the president what NASA discovered. I want to hear from NASA. Yeah. So if, if if NASA discovers life on Mars and it's like the, another civilization, send me an alert tweet, an Amber Alert thing, whatever, on my phone directly from NASA. I don't want to hear what the president has to say about what NASA found. I want to hear what the thing is that NASA found. And this is perfect because I heard directly about it. If there was a rush of forest fires in the area, I would want to hear a message from the forest fire agency or whatever just like this where i heard directly from the water department and it was informative and yet people they automatically thought that it was going to be a failure they automatically thought that they knew how it was and because it wasn't it wasn't meshing with what they knew they weren't open to changing their minds and they automatically thought all the blame was on everyone else but them meanwhile everything was handled fine yeah it's just, it was so, it's so annoying to see people not appreciating a system working. Yeah, because that, I mean, it was a case of a system working pretty mm-hmm. well. You, know, you can look back at it, and of course, it's easy for people to criticize, nitpick, all that stuff. But it's like, try to understand that the spill didn't happen at the water treatment plant. Yeah. They're addressing it the best way they can. You know, it's like if you do, you're doing your job and your coworker mm-hmm. messes up and you have to clean it up, I mean, you're... Do you think your coworker's going to be completely transparent with you? No, not necessarily, unless you got a good one. But actually, no, coworker doesn't even work. This is a whole other company, mm-hmm. you know? Like, these guys aren't working together. And the, and the spill happened in a, in Outer Creek, yeah, which dumps out into the Delaware River. The tributary? Or yeah, yeah. So it's just like, uh, I mean, thankfully, Delaware River is pretty deep. Mm-hmm. And a lot of water. the chemical that was spilled was... Uh, confirmed to be water soluble and like no yeah. one trusts what the company says but this yeah. is you have other experts that weigh in and say yes mm-hmm. because i i don't i'm not gonna trust what they say no other experts weigh in and it, it is but here's another thing too that what about all the chemical spills you don't know about oh you know what i'm gonna tell you word for word a quote from one of the people that was giving me a difficult time that okay. day they said you know, Renoa, the problem with your generation is that you believe everything you hear. And I was like, oh, I don't think you want to. Wow. I don't think we're the ones on Facebook believing everything. No, we we're hear. not the ones that are. Oh, man, just I got so annoyed by this. It still irks me. But I got paid that day mm-hmm. and I went and got that 
CVS water and I drank it fine. But man, does it just stick in your mind whenever somebody just makes such an ass of themselves. Don't trust the government, but also the government, according to them, text, the water text them mm -hmm. to let them know. So, I mean, should you trust the information or not? I mean, are we going to do that slippery slope? Or how about we just exercise some common sense, understand how water treatment works, or if you don't understand it, be open to the fact that you don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like they're sitting there, like the water's on a conveyor belt and they're picking out the contaminants as it rushes by. No, no. it's not how that works. The water that everybody had had already been treated. I'm actually kind of amazed by how many reserves of water that I see around here. There's entire lakes that are just reservoirs. Like, yeah, I mean, we drive past one. You know, in, in Illinois, central Illinois, I didn't get to really see much of the water infrastructure. But out here, now granted... Moving to the East Coast is a bit of a, a delight to the senses, getting to oh, see yeah. all the infrastructure of every type. But out here, you really get to see a lot of redundancy in the water infrastructure. There's just a lot of water infrastructure. And the fact that they were able to turn off the water inputs and provide the, the city with water for several days without taking too much in, that sounds like a really well-built system. That is, Oh, it is. Like, why can't we have a Modern Marvels episode telling us about that? Why does everything have to be so negative? Where it's like, oh, well, everything's falling apart in this country. Well, why don't you talk about the stuff that's actually put together right? Because some of the stuff's pretty cool shit. Mm -hmm. Some of the stuff is actually so interesting that you could actually make a documentary about it praising how well put together it is. Yeah. I mean, if you trust the water any other time mm -hmm. when you don't hear about a spill, thank the people that work there. Mm-hmm. I kind of I kind of figure most of these spills happen quite often. And I'm just thankful to actually hear of it for once. Right. That's the thing. You know, like I said, think about the ones you don't hear about. Mm -hmm. You know, people think, oh, there's more train derailments. No, there isn't. I know. I there's know. the same amount. Mm -hmm. You're just hearing about them now. Yeah. That's the difference. There's not more of it happening. Uh, you, you didn't hear about the ones and particularly on the one small seldom traveled train track near mm -hmm. my place they never got in the news but they happen mm -hmm. fairly often there yeah. is literally a locomotive in the mud of the creek from the 1920s so they just it happens so often that they just build over it and mm -hmm. go again um you know we really the i think the thing that drags down society are these people that they they think everything is as simple as they imagine it they think everything's simple. And then as soon as they get an alert about it or read about it, they get scared as if it's the first time happening, not realizing this isn't the first time. This is the first time you're hearing about it. This right. is a good thing. This isn't a bad thing. But they get, they get frightened and they cement their view and they don't allow themselves to be talked out of it by any reason or anything. And you just have to basically be like, okay. And then later on you can fume about it but they just will die with their opinion and this is what drags down a community this is what drags down a society whenever you have those people that just will not budge and meanwhile i don't know what else they would want the water department do, to do do they want them to come to their house and, and ha hand them water i don't know like what else do you want them to do they literally put it on the radio on the internet on your phone against your will even yeah whether you like it or not yeah, whether you like it or not, I, I you're mean, gonna be informed that's good incidentally um you know you see if you read the philadelphia subreddit which of course is just a small portion mm -hmm. of people that live in philadelphia but you have you had people that commute from new jersey and as soon as they rode that rode that train over to philly everybody's phones are pinging mm -hmm. about the warning you don't even have to live in the city proper you just have to be in the vicinity yep. of it regardless of what your area code is and you were getting that alert mm -hmm. i just wasn't in the city long enough yeah but um yeah everyone was getting that alert and a lot of the shops if i remember right i noticed a lot of them i think a lot of them were weren't using their water like they they weren't they had like signs in their windows. Or yeah, they were like, out, out, like yeah, out of an abundance of caution. I'm sure uh, mm -hmm. I, I heard that there were several businesses that weren't. Yeah. So just e to be safe. Even the businesses and stuff were acting respectable about it because uh, they don't want to have any issue with one of their 
daily customers or whatever. Mm -hmm. it, it's just an issue with people that freak out or get shocked or they don't really understand what's going on and yet they feel like they're the only one that can talk about what's going on. Meanwhile, the only one that knows what's going on are the people that are constantly looking around them and accept and realizing what they did think isn't the case anymore. Yep. That's pretty much it. Man. Yeah. But, and it's fine if you don't know what's going on, but mm -hmm. when you learn, uh, a wise person will change their perspective with mm -hmm. new information. That's wisdom. Yeah. And our elders, our true elders know that. Knew that. Most of them are dead now. Well, knew that. Yeah. yeah. Some, some are still around for me. That's true, yeah. Yeah, some are still around, and, and they, they know mm -hmm. it. That's what makes them admirable. I want to be like them. Yeah. Man. But, yeah, uh, water's fine in Philadelphia. Yeah, water's fine. It's, it actually tastes it's great. really they, good. They did a good job. Um, I mean, now, our water was never affected mm -hmm. uh, because we draw from a different river, but still, uh, we said that before. But even if it was, I'm fine with drinking that. Yeah. And I actually have more faith in the water department after this. I feel like they might actually be pretty transparent now. Yeah, I mean, they not that they weren't. They they released, but they released their quarter, uh, not quarterly, but like yearly water reports mm -hmm. all the time. Anyway, it's just that people yeah. don't even think until there's a problem to go look at. It. I mean, it's, if everything's fine, nobody cares, right? But then when something's wrong, now everybody wants to nitpick. A lot of these people need to watch a channel called Plainly Difficult, and I'll just leave it with that. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you very much for watching. See ya.